Now, in late September, the first Galaxy S22 Ultra renders appeared, and it looked nothing like a S21 Ultra successor, rather a Galaxy Note device, to be honest. But the name wasn't confirmed then. Many thought it would be called Galaxy Note 22 Ultra. Then it was rumored that it will be called Galaxy S22 Ultra instead. But what if I say both of these might be true? The leaked renders and the real life images of the upcoming high end Galaxy flagship has a boxy look and will offer a dedicated S Pen slot. But it will be called not a Galaxy Note 22 Ultra or something like that, but a Galaxy S22 Note. Well, yeah. Even though a lot of people will not like the fact that the Note branding isn't after the Galaxy branding, rather it's after the S22 branding and there is no Ultra phone this year, so I don't know how people will react to this if this is at all coming. Also, there were rumors saying that the Galaxy S22 Plus would be called Galaxy S22 Pro and the base model would be called just Galaxy S22. I mean, there won't be just, but Galaxy S22. The leak of Fronton claims that there is no Galaxy S22 Ultra we can instead expect a Galaxy S22 Note. So this guy you can trust. Now there are a lot of people who might not agree but a Note branding has a different presence of its own. So having a Note branding could help Samsung boost the sales and do the insane marketing. As for the specs, Samsung's upcoming flagship device will offer 6.8 inch 120Hz LTPO curved display, insanely thin bezels all around and slighter bit of chin and a punch hole. It will also come with a 108 megapixel HM3 main camera, which is a little bit improved sensor from the last year, and 12 megapixel ultra wide angle snapper, 10 megapixel 10x telescope zoom camera, 10 megapixel 3x periscope zoom camera at the rear, and a 5000 mAh battery will be powering the device, which will also support 45 watt fast charging. As for the chipset, it will be powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. If you haven't seen last video, you should check out that one. Now, that too, it will come in the markets like US and China but only if the production of the Exynos 2200 with AMD GPU goes well. If not, then it will come in most of the markets and very few markets will get the Galaxy S22 Ultra or Galaxy S22 Note powered by the Exynos 2200 with AMD GPU. That will also be an interesting thing. Now the whole Galaxy S22 series will be revealed in February of the next year and will cost same as the predecessors. So no change in that. That's good. And if you want the wallpapers from the thumbnail photos, then visit my website jointhebit.com, link down below. Now data opt-ins from retailers by leaker Snoopy has revealed some other things as well. Both the standard and plus model of the Galaxy S22 series will come with 8GB of RAM as standard and two storage options, 128GB and 256GB. And the color options include pink, gold, I don't know what that color is, green, black and white. Whereas the Galaxy S22 Ultra will come in Two RAM options, 12GB and 16GB. The 16GB will only come with the 512GB storage option of the device, which is the top of the line storage option, by the way, there is no 1TB option. And the color options of the S22 Ultra is like this, dark red, black and white. But we have also seen green color in the renders, so I don't know whether that is coming or not, but, but it does really look good, it should come. And yeah, check out my website on your computer, tablet, or your phone. Jointhavid.com, link down below. It's for everything tech. You're gonna get all these and more tech news way faster than these videos. These videos take a lot more time and effort to create. So subscribe to this channel and like this video as I appreciate that. And definitely visit my website.